hello friends welcome to this channel today we are going to see how to integrate Tasmota with the domotics platform domotics platform is a open platform where you can interface your home automation devices like light sensors switches etc with this platform you can monitor the data as well as operate the devices from this platform Tasmota as you know it is also a open source platform where you can have the Tasmota binary files available over there which you can flash into your device and do some configurations and make your device up and running so if you do not know how to use the Tasmota platform you can watch this video use of Tasmota with ESP32 on this channel now let us see how to integrate Tasmota device with the domotics search domotics in google search window click here on this first link now you get this web page click here on the download you can see the setup files over here you can download the setup file as per your os I have downloaded this set of file because I want to use domotics on the windows of my PC. You can download the set of file and install the domotics on your machine or device. This is the domotics web page on my machine. This is the dashboard. Right now it is empty. Now we are going to add some hardware over here by clicking over on the setup then click on the hardware we are going to add MQTT interface click here on type select MQTT client gateway with LAN interface you can give the name as MQTT set here the broker address I am going to use the broker test.mosquito.org I am using port number 1883 keep the other things as it is click here on add now you can see MQTT interface has been added and the broker address is test.mosquito.org port number is 1883 now we are going to add dummy switch click here on setup and then hardware now we are going to add the dummy switch name has been given as dummy we are going to select the type of the switch select this dummy setting so add this switch now we are going to create virtual sensors click here on virtual sensors give the name as switch and select the sensor type as switch click here on ok now sensor has been created and we can see that sensor in the devices list see now the switch has been added and it is for controlling the light we are going to control the LED on ESP32 board with this switch we are going to operate the LED on ESP32 board with this switch just note down this IDX number we are going to use it while doing the configuration in Tasmota now we are going to add one more sensor that is the temperature sensor click here on hardware just create one more virtual sensor give the name as temp and select the sensor type as select the sensor type as temperature click here on ok 
now sensor has been created and let us see the device list click here on setup and then on devices now you can see the temperature sensor has been added we are going to use the built-in ESP based temperature sensor which is not accurate so note down the IDX number over here for the temperature sensor click here on the switch tab you can see the switch gadget has been added over here click here on the temperature tab you can see the temperature gadget is available over here now we have done the settings on domotics now we are going to see the touch motor related part click here on touch motor main menu we are going to do configuration click here on the configuration we will configure the model so click on the configure model set GPIO to pin as PWM this is the GPIO pin which is connected to the LED on ESP32 board so we are going to operate that pin in a PWM mode to change the brightness of the LED click here on the save device will restart in few seconds by the way I have already flashed the Tasmota binary file which is appropriate for my ESP32 board click here on the toggle button to see whether the LED on ESP32 board becomes on now you can see LED on ESP32 board is on but the brightness is very low we will increase the brightness to the fullest now you can see the brightness has increased now we will click on the configuration we will configure the MQTT I am going to select the testmosquito.org broker set the port address as 183 and click here on the save device is going to restart now now after configuring the MQTT setting we will configure the domotics related settings so click here on configure domotics so as you know we are going to use the IDX value over here so IDX value for the switch is 1 so enter 1 over here IDX value for the temperature sensor is 2 so enter 2 over here so configuration related to demo domotics has been done save the configuration so device is going to restart now I'm going to turn the LED off by clicking over here on the toggle button LED on ESP32 board is turned off now let us see the domotics page click here on the switches we will click here on the star to make it yellow so that it will get added on the dashboard same thing we are going to do with the temperature sensor click here on the star and now we can see switch and temperature sensors are available on the dashboard now you can see the temperature has been displayed it is same as shown on the Tasmota main page now the switch is off right now we are going to turn it on by clicking over here so switch is turned on now you can see LED on ESP32 board is turned on turn off the LED 
by clicking over switch again now you can see switch has been turned off so the LED on ESP32 board is turned off so in order to vary the brightness of the LED we are going to add one more hardware or virtual sensor just click on create virtual sensor give the name brightness we are going to select RGB switch click here on OK check the device list now you can see brightness switch has been added and the IDX value for brightness switch is 3 let us go to the switches just add it to the dashboard right now the switch is not going to operate we are going to add the IDX of this switch to the task motor so IDX for this switch brightness switch is 3 so visit the task motor main page just click here on the configuration click here on the configure domotics and set IDX1 as 3 instead of 1 save this configuration by clicking over here on save so device is restarting again LED on ESP32 board is off click here on domotics page now we are going to vary the brightness by changing the position of the slider now you can see the brightness of the LED on the ESP32 board it is very dim so we will increase the brightness to 50% now you can see LED has become brighter we will make the LED fully bright by taking this slider to 100% now you can see LED on ESP32 board is fully bright so we have successfully integrated our task motor device with the domotics platform and that's it for today thanks for watching the video if you like the video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time